Now I'll let these two 3D printers to print the same model and compare the result. Okay, everything's ready now. Let's start printing. Here's the document button. Let's click it. And click this. This is the name of the model. Click start. Okay, let's close this box. Let's go for this one. This one just click click the picture. And press the uh, and press the start button. Okay. Also close this box. It will keep the environment warm. After waiting for a while, both of the two printers finished working. Let's have a look. It's a dental cast. This was printed by the Hello Sky. Wow, perfect! Actually, I can't tell the difference with my naked eye. Can you tell the difference? Well, for the next step, we are going to unbox this tube machine. You will see we already opened the package. What will we do then? But today, we are going to take these two machines apart to see the structure inside. Let's open the bottom of this machine. Let's start with the bottom. A little bit complicated, but it felt like opening the Pandora's box. Okay, let's see what's inside. Wow. Okay, you see, this is the core component, the light source. The traditional matrix light source was made up of four small lamps. Just these four, you see? But that one is different. Now I'm gonna take one of the lamp off and see if this 3D printer still works. I'm gonna break this. Wow. Felt a little bit guilty. Now this one was taken off. This traditional 3D printer was already taken down and we saw the structure inside it. Now let's go for the Hello Sky. This structure is a little bit different from that one. See, here is here is the here is a light source. It was made up of twelve lamps. Let's also break one of it and see whether it works. We can see one of the lamp is already broken, and let's turn on the light to see whether it still works. Now we can see that we already take one of the lamp off and uh, let's turn on the light to see whether it still works. Okay, it still works. And now we're gonna take off the second lamp. Okay, the second lamp was broken. And let's turn on the light to see whether it still works. Wow, oh my god, it's still working, it's still shining. The light source still works after breaking two of the lamps, but now I'm gonna break in the third one. Okay, let's try it again, the light on. Wow, it's still shining. So magic. After breaking the third lamp, we found that the light source still works. And now we're gonna assemble this machine back and see whether it can still print a model.
Now let's turn on the light to see whether it still works. We can see the instruction light is on. And now we turn on the light source. Okay, it should be shining now. Let's see. Oh, oh my god. All of them are broken now, it's not shiny. Since the light source is a core component of the resin 3D printers, if the light is broken, which means that the whole 3D printer died. Although this 3D printer was already dead, we're still gonna put it back and assemble it. Let's print the dental model again. Start printing. Okay, it starts now. Let's go for this one. Okay, also the same model starts. Now, both of the printers are working now. Let's wait for a while and see what will happen. We have been waiting for one hour and let's check the result. Wow. Let's take the platform off. Wow, the same dental model appeared again. It seems no big difference from the last one, right? Okay, let's go for checking the next one. This is our Hello Sky printer. And let's check the traditional one. Wow. Okay, let's check the result of this traditional printer. Adjust the Z axis. Okay, we can see the printing platform is totally empty. It proved that this time. It it proved that the printing this time is filled. Let's also take off this platform. Wow. You can see that it's really empty. Okay, from this experiment, we can see that for the traditional 3D printer to use the traditional light sources, when one of the lamp is broken, it stopped working. But for the Hello Sky, which used the integral light, we even broke three of the light source and it kept working and it seems cause no effect on the printing results. This technology largely increased the printing stability and accuracy.